Enter Ledecker. Somehow, someway she blazed through the course faster than any other woman. When she looked up at the scoreboard and saw the time, she froze. I felt it was a mistake, Ledecker said afterward. She stood in the finish area, not quite believing what had happened. The win changed everything for the daughter of Janek Ledecky, one of the Czech Republic's most well-known composers. Already, Ledecka planned to make history at the Pyeongchang Olympics by competing in alpine skiing and snowboarding events. Most athletes, the difficulty of competing at the world's highest level in two related, but significantly different sports, would be hard enough. Gold medal winner Esther Ledecka, right, and silver medal winner Ramona Theresia Hofmeister, of Germany. Photo, Abnot Ledecka. She trains in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, with former U.S. Olympic snowboarder Justin Reiter. In a world where athletes focus on their discipline with religious fervor, she has the gift to remain world-class while dividing her attention, for somebody, anybody, to take ski racing to another level. It takes a ton of hard work, focus, determination, an incredible amount of athleticism, said Michaela Schifferin, the U.S. alpine skier who won two medals at the Games. I think everyone was thinking, what are we doing wrong? I thought this sport was hard. Well apparently not. It's an incredible example for young, aspiring skiers and snowboarders, freestylers, anybody. The Super G win transformed Ledecker into the unexpected story of the games. The astonishment wasn't in sight. Instead, Ledecka looked calm and confident as she zipped through her first three races, then cruised to the win in the final. She looked every bit the snowboarder who is the world champion in the event where she's been competing on the World Cup circuit since 2012. Now Ledecka has a second gold medal and a piece of history. MC